Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Learn Physics Easily. In the last video we discussed a problem in dimensional analysis. So same way we are going to solve another problem. So read the question. If the value of universal gravitational constant in SI system is 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 11 Newton meter square kilogram power minus 2 then find its value in CGS system. So two systems are given. First one is SI system and another system is CGS system. We are going to convert gravitational constant from SI system to CGS system. So in SI system take mass value as M1, length value as L1, time as T1. Same way in CGS system take mass as M2, length as L2 and time as T2. SI system is otherwise known as MKSA system. M stands for meter, K kilogram, S again, A ampere. So first one, meter. So length is 1 meter. Kilogram. So mass is 1 kilogram. Second. So time is 1 second. Okay. Same way in CGS system. Centimeter, gram, second system. So length is 1 centimeter, mass is 1 gram and time is in 1 second. Okay, we already know the formula. G1 into M1 power A, L1 power B, T1 power C is equal to G2 into M2 power A, L2 power B and T2 power C. So, in the given data, they have given the gravitational constant value in SI system. So, that value was 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 11 Newton meter square kg power minus 2. So, we are going to find out the same value in CGS system. So, G2 value I am going to find out. Rearrange this equation. G2 is equal to G1 into M1 power A, L1 power B, T1 power C divided by M2 power A, L2 power B, T2 power C. So we can also write this as G2 is equal to G1 into, just join these two terms, M1 divided by M2, power is common, so I can take the power is common. L1 divided by L2 whole power B, T1 divided by T2 whole power C. So, I am going to find out the values for A, B, C. So, what formula can I use? You know, universal law of gravitation. Every object in the universe attract every other object with a force which is directly proportional to product of the masses and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them. Okay, when I remove this proportionality, the constant is gravitational constant G. So, G into M1, M2 divided by D square. Here, I am going to find out gravitational constant dimensional formula using this equation. So, rearrange this. G is equal to F into D square divided by M1 into M2. What is force formula? Force formula is mass into acceleration into D square divided by M1 into M2. So, we already know what is the dimensional formula, right? So, dimensional formula for mass M, dimensional formula for acceleration Lt power minus 2. Dimensional formula for distance is length, distance square, so L square divided by both are mass, so M, M. So the dimensional formula will become M square. Okay, rearrange this. G is equal to, already 1 is there, 2 when it comes up, M power minus 1. Here I am having L, L square, so L cube, T power minus 2. So, take the powers as 
m power as a l cube so that is my b c is minus 2 now substitute back in this equation g2 is equal to what is g1 6.6 into 10 power minus 11 substitute all the values m1 m2 l1 l2 t1 t2 value substitute all the values so m1 is 1 kilogram m2 is 1 gram whole power a so a value here it is minus 1 next l1 value is 1 meter l2 is 1 centimeter the whole power b value is 3 t1 value once again t2 value once again the whole power c c value is minus 2 so i can write this as 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 11 1 kilogram which is nothing but 1000 gram divided by 1 gram the whole power minus 1 1 meter can also be written as 100 centimeter divided by 1 centimeter the whole power 3 once again and once again get cancelled so remaining 1 power minus 2 so 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 11 gram and gram get cancelled 1000 can be written as 10 cube so 10 cube the whole power minus 1 centimeter centimeter get cancelled 100 i can write as 10 square the whole power 3 1 power anything is 1 so 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 11 3 into minus 1 so minus 3 2 into 3 6 now club the powers 6.6 .6 into minus 11 minus 3 minus 14 minus 14 plus 6 10 power 8 so they have given the unit as Newton so Newton means in CGS system it is dyne meter meter means in CGS system it is centimeter kilogram means in CGS system it is in gram ok so this is a final formula this is a final value we just converted a gravitational constant from SI system to CGS system ok very simple problem and also very important problem for board exam ok they may be asked you in a 5 mark question thank you for watching this video